I'd like to say good morning, but today uh, I come before you with a um, heartfelt sorrow that uh, our exhaustive search for little Zaya um, has ended. And unfortunately, it did not end as we expected it uh, with a safe recovery of Zaya. Zaya's um, body was found deceased inside of the uh, household. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to recap um, from yesterday and take you into today's events. We know that uh, at 11.48 uh, yesterday morning, we received a call from the Seminole Police Department that a three-year-old child by the name of Zaya Osceola was reported missing from the location here on Johnson Street, the 5400 block of Johnson. We uh, worked with uh, many agencies yesterday, BSO. We had um, canines tracking with bloodhounds. We had about a two or three mile square area. We went door to door, house to house, exhausting every effort possible. Uh, we had volunteers come out. Uh, many individuals came out to pray for the safe recovery of Little Zaya. Uh, we also processed uh, this scene yesterday, as you all know, as a criminal investigation. So we had a missing child operation taking place, as well as a criminal investigation. Uh, late last night, uh, during a thorough uh, exhaustive search of the house, we discovered the body of little Zaya in an obscured location, not readily visible to the average person. The uh, body is being processed right now by the medical examiner and our investigators, and we are uh, looking into this as a criminal investigation until proven otherwise. Uh, it is uh, an exhaustive effort by our officers. They have not stopped. Uh, since this call came in yesterday, they have been on scene uh, working relentlessly to identify or find the child and identify if anyone is responsible for the incident that took place. Uh, we have an, uh, an active investigation, so some of the information you may ask me today, I may not be able to release it to you readily at this point in time. As that information becomes available that does not compromise our investigation, we will certainly release it to the public. I will close off by saying that the public has provided an enormous amount of effort. Uh, prayer services were held uh, to ensure the safe recovery of Zion. But again, I come to you as the chief of Hollywood with a heartfelt sorrow that unfortunately we could not um, deliver that uh, our, our, our best outcome here, which is bring Zaya back uh, alive and well. So at, that po at this point, I will open up for any questions you may have to identify any trauma in the body. Suffice to say, the body was found in an obscured area uh, of the house, hidden from the, uh, the eye of an average person, if you will, and even from law enforcement. Where was it found? I cannot reveal that at this point as part of the investigation. But again, it, is, it was found in a location that was not uh, readily identifiable. Sorry, could this have been the child perhaps hiding, or does it look like someone hid the body? Uh, it, was, uh, it was found in an obscured area, not visible to uh, the average person looking through the house. What time do you have any suspects? Uh, we, are, we are interviewing everyone that has access to the household, uh, so we're until, until proven otherwise. So anyone that has access to the household are being, are being interviewed. Does this appear to be a murder, or, does it, or is there another possibility that the child may have done something himself? Well, you must remember, obviously, the obvious thing is that we have a three-year-old that's deceased. And uh, when it comes to a three-year-old, it's obviously not going to be anything uh, of a natural death in the conditions that we found the body obscured somewhere in the house. So we are treating it as a criminal investigation until proven otherwise.